them. And I've realized if I'm not spending time in my prayer closet praying for those in my life that need Jesus, how can I possibly expect to look and see opportunities that are right before me? And sometimes it's that simple inventory at night or in the morning when I say, God, who in my life needs you? The Spirit of God begins to speak to my heart and imprint somebody that is on God's heart on my heart. And I start to say, God, would you change them? Lord, would you use me to be an agent of your love? And even when I think of evangelism, I don't think of it as I want to get through this four-point tract or get through this message. For me, it's, I say I want to love as many people as possible in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to love them through my service, and certainly I want to love them through my words. Who in your life needs Jesus? What are you doing about it? Third question, who is going with you? The good news for us is that God has not called any one of us alone. You see, because here's the truth. I'm an evangelist, and some days I don't feel like sharing Jesus. Now, if I'm an evangelist and I'm saying that, I'm pretty sure you probably feel the same way. I mean, let's be honest. Sometimes isn't talking about Jesus about the last thing you want to do? I mean, it's pretty easy to talk about sports or food. Pretty easy to talk about your kids or grandkids. 